I got a call from Cartulo this morning. Imagine my surprise when they informed me that you wouldn't be presenting at the awards ceremony tonight. Mm -hmm. And here you are, looking like you just stumbled out of bed. Are you ill? I know. I, Murphy and I had an argument last night. It was awful. I see. So this mood you're in wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that you were almost kidnapped last night? <laughs> I don't know why you're saying kidnapped. Whoever told you that is overreacting. Okay, what's your version? Uh, well, a couple fans got crazy and that's it. That's not the way Murphy tells it. What do you mean, Murphy? After he left here last night, two men grabbed him. What? Is he okay? He's fine. Well, what happened? Well, these goons dragged him to a van, tried to force him to get in. He, he fought back. There was a gunshot, and he was able to get away. Just in time to see you and some strange man facing off against your own set of thugs. Thugs, not fans. Murphy watched you run off with this strange guy who also happened to be armed. So can we just stop tap dancing around? Tell me what happened? It's not answering. You're sure he's okay? I wouldn't lie about that. So why isn't he answering? And why didn't you tell me about this sooner? Well, why? I could ask you the same thing. Well, I asked you first. Murphy was frantic when he saw you running off with this mysterious gun-toting stranger. He wanted to call Interpol. I talked him out of it. I appreciate that. I had misgivings, believe me. But it sounded like you'd gone off with this guy voluntarily, and I didn't think we should sound an alarm that we couldn't shut off. Anyway, we were in the lobby discussing all of this when we saw you come in, soaking wet, and go up to your suite. Murphy wanted to run after you on the spot, and I convinced him, since I knew you were in the middle of an argument, that uh, oh I should be the one to ask you some questions. Murphy's in London, waiting to hear from you. Okay, it's your turn. Who was this stranger who rescued you last night? He, he doesn't deserve the way I went off on him. Actually, he was just trying to be protective, and I turned it into this whole thing about him calling me a princess, which he didn't even do. And it, it's not, it doesn't even have anything to do with him. He ran out. I ran after him. I was actually going to say I'm sorry. And then he was gone, and I was out in front of the hotel. There was these two guys pretending to be fans. Uh... And they grabbed you? Yes. Yeah, they grabbed me. And then there was this guy. It was a guy. The stranger? Uh, str well, he wasn't a stranger. He was... <clears throat> you know You know him? the guy in the next piazza? He has that bodyguard. He has a few bodyguards, and I guess he heard me scream, so he came and helped me. And uh, so I ran off with him. Doesn't sound like you, Brenda. I mean, maybe you know this man well enough to speak to, but to go off with him? Well, without question. What are you talking about? He saved me, so of course I, I, I ran off with him. Where'd he take you? He took me to Trevi Fountain and we hid, and, you know, he brought me back here safe and sound. End of story. Well, does this guy have a name? Uh, maybe we should be sending him a thank you gift. No, nah, he's, he's a bodyguard. He's just happy to help. Look, are you all right? Uh, I'm, I'm a little shaken up, I guess. Yeah, well, I wish you were a lot shaken up, because you should be. You've got a choice to make, Brenda. You can either stay here and get yourself killed, or you can get on a plane and go back to the States as fast as you can book a flight. Are you sulking? 
I think I made a fair compromise. You and Interpol and Gartulo and everybody can surround me with all the guards you guys want. But I'm not, I'm, I just want to cancel anything. I don't want to cancel this parent. All right, it's a reasonable start. But if there is any sign of the Balkan, any threat at all, all bets are off. You either go to Murphy in London or you go home to the States. No arguments. Five minutes, please. Be smart, be smart. Come quietly, or you die right here. 